Hi, my name is Sonali Arora and I am going to be talking to you about a bioconductor package called Annotation Hub. Annotation Hub provides a client for the Bioconductor Annotation Hub web resource. The Annotation Hub web resource provides a central location where genomic files and other resources from standard locations, example UCSC Ensemble, can be discovered. The resources also introduce include metadata about each resource. Today I'm going to briefly talk about how one can go about setting up annotation hub, finding files using it, how to get a file and its metadata, and doing some reproducible research with annotation hub. So let's look at a quick tour of it. Let's load the package into our R session then you would download all the annotation hub metadata using this constructor and let's look at the show method so you can see that annotation hub contains 19268 files as of today and uh, there are files from different data providers such as UCSC, Ensemble, Broad Institute, NCBI there's also data which comes from different species such as Homo sapiens um, mass musculus etc uh, you also have data uh, available in different objects to you for example in some cases if the data is uh, can be represented as a g ranges then we return the g ranges back to you or if the data is uh, too big uh, because of memory constraints we return back the file object to you so, uh, and you can see that the title for a few of these records are already displayed. If I had to get the chain files, for example, from Annotation Hub, I would just query them using this command here. And if I look at what is con contained in this object called AH2, I will see that the Annotation Hub uh, resource has been subset to about 11,000, uh, 1100 records which contain only chain files. You can see that the R data class right from here which contained everything has just been reduced to chain files and these are the possible chain files that you can look at. Now uh, the client creates and manages a local cache of files retrieved by the user helping with quick and reproducible research. If you just wanted to find out where these files are stored, you could look them up using this helper function called hub cache. Another advantage of uh, using annotation hub is uh, the, ta the processing speed. For example, if we were looking at biopacks files from NCI pathway introduction database, one would have to download these files and then using a bioconductor package our biopacks parser one would have to parse these files these files take about anywhere between five to ten minutes to parse so an easier thing to do would be then to use annotation hub one can easily query for all the files from nci's pathway interaction database and these files if you look at the object which is returned to us it contains uh, all the biopacks uh, files from different uh, which we saw on the web page of NCI and now we can get its metadata simply by using the single square brackets you can find out where the source URL is which genome does it contain data from which species is it coming from and uh, what is the source size what is the source last modified date and to download the files you would simply use the square bracket uh, double square bracket and so if I, sorry, and that is it. Uh, that's how quickly you get the file. You don't have to wait. The file has already been parsed and saved by us. And so you directly get the parsed object. You do not have to wait for um, downloading the file and then parsing it and finding out which software parses the file. One can also do reproducible research using Annotation Hub uh, using this helper function called snapshot date. So snapshot date, as you can see, returns the date for yesterday. So these files are actually 
cached from yesterday suppose you want to roll back to an annotation hub which was used two years ago you would simply set the date for two years ago and then you would look at this object again as you can see the number of records has reduced from those 19,000 files to 6,505 files and uh, I know for a fact that chain files were not added to annotation hub two years ago so today, so uh, for two years ago, if I query Annotation Hub, I should not get those files. And as you can see, Annotation Hub comes back with zero records. Now, if I again uh, go set the Annotation Hub for today's date and look at these chain files again, then you can see that the chain files are returned to me. So in this way, one can use Annotation Hub to um, do reproducible research. Another important thing is that if you wanted to submit your own recipes to us, which you wanted, for example, some particular files to be included in Annotation Hub, which would facilitate your research, then uh, you can simply go through this vignette, which is present inside Annotation Hub, which tells you how to write recipes for new resources on Annotation Hub. This vignette is uh, described uh, pretty much in detail how you need to write your recipe. Then you can just email us and then we'll be happy to add uh, your new resources to Annotation Hub. So that was a quick tour of Annotation Hub. I hope you found that helpful. Um, here are a few references and uh, thank you.